There are so many cute Halloween buckets and bags available this time of year, and you wanna make sure they go back to the right house. Personalizing them with vinyl is a great way to do that. But what vinyl do you use and how do you do it? I used my Cricut Joy for most of the projects, but you can use any of the Cricut machines or the other brands of electronic cutting machines. My name is Ruth. This is Hank's Maker Mentor, where I help you learn how to make. I grabbed a few different options for this video. We'll start with these basic Halloween buckets. This is the glow in the dark bucket that Target was offering in 2022. It doesn't glow for very long, so I won't be putting a design on it, but I wanted to show you that with traditional Halloween buckets, there are different sizes. You wanna make sure you're paying attention to the size of the bucket and what designs are already on it. These do have ridges on them, so you'll struggle to get large decals to lay flat and bubble free, you're gonna want designs that have some space in between the individual elements. I have three different fabric bags here to show you. I think these have all come from Dollar Tree over the past few years. When you're considering personalizing these, think about the finish on the bag. If both sides feel a little bit plastic, you'll wanna choose another bag or personalize it with a keychain. For these bags with a blank side of non-woven polyester, which is what your traditional reusable tote is, we'll use heat transfer vinyl. This is an LED bag that lights up around the edges with a battery pack. It's made from the same type of material they're requiring for a lot of stadiums or other events with high security. You plug the battery pack into these cables over here. You then press the power switch to alternate between the different settings to change the color and the pattern of LEDs. If you're planning on using a bag that coordinates with your costume and you don't wanna personalize it long-term, one option would be acrylic blanks. This can be as simple as their name or character on a circle. You can do shaped ones. This one is a cupcake. You could use that if you're going as a baker or something along those lines. There are tons of options and tons of different sizes. We're gonna start with the standard Halloween bucket since they're easy to find and they have smooth, shiny sides. It'll work really well with adhesive vinyl, which most people consider easier to work with than heat transfer vinyl. It's also less expensive. I need to figure out what size to cut the decal, so I'm going to use a fabric measuring tape and my squeegee from 143 Vinyl to keep the bucket from rolling. A rolled up dish towel would also work. When you're measuring, you don't want to measure too far around it because it makes it hard to see the whole design at once. I'm making this design five inches wide and cutting it on Cricut Smart Vinyl on my Cricut Joy, which means I don't need to place it on a mat. You can also get Smart Vinyl for the Cricut Explore 3 and the Maker 3. Because I didn't put a weaving box around the text, I used an X-Acto knife to cut one. This allows me to weed and remove the design without cutting the backing. If the top of your backing isn't level, it won't feed properly into your machine for future cuts. And there's a grid on the back to help you keep it straight. I tried using my medium tack transfer tape with no success. I tried using the Cricut Joy transfer tape, still no success. So I rewatched a video from Tastefully Frugal where she suggests using a blow dryer. That did the trick. I cleaned the bucket with rubbing alcohol, then applied the decal, being careful to rub it into the grooves of the bucket. I used the blow dryer a bit more before removing the transfer tape. I'm gonna show you how all the projects turned out at the end of the video. Next up, we're gonna personalize these fabric bags by putting the name on the back, since there's not a lot of empty space on the front. I made sure to measure to see what size to cut it. And then in design space, I make sure I size it appropriately. This font for Killian is called Spiderweb. To get the spiderwebs in the letters, you have to type in an uppercase letter into your text box. Lowercase letters in the text box will appear as an uppercase letter without the spiderwebs. Since I'm using HTV, I need to mirror my design. We'll place the HTV carrier sheet down which is normally the shiny side. I put my pressing pillow inside the bag 
to provide separation between the heat of the easy press and the plastic coating on the other side of the bag. This plastic will melt if there's too much heat. It also gives a more even pressing surface, which gives you much better results. After it cuts, I weed it and I'm going to apply it with my easy press. I'm using StarCraft Soft Flex. I preheat the bag to remove any wrinkles and excess moisture. Then I place my design and I'm gonna press it at 285 for about eight seconds. But make sure you follow the manufacturer of your vinyl's recommendations for time, temperature, pressure, and when to peel the carrier sheet. Those are the most common mistakes with heat transfer vinyl. Next, we'll do the LED bag. I'm using text with an offset. I cut it on my Silhouette Cameo 4. Since I'm still learning that machine, part of the design was cut where there was no vinyl on the mat, so I recut just that section. After it was weeded, I used transfer tape and parchment paper to line the letters up properly with the offset. I used a few different tools to try and make sure it was lined up properly on the bag. I also put my small pressing mat inside the bag to help me avoid the seams. Then I repeated the process on the other side. The last way I'm gonna show you to personalize your trick or treat bag is with an acrylic blank. I cut it with my Android phone and my Cricut Joy. I'm using this penguin acrylic from 143vinyl.com, but there are so many options. Depending on where you get the blank, it might come with an SVG or other cut file that is designed and sized for your blank, which is how I got the super cute details sized properly for this one. I used parchment paper again to line it up. If this was a keychain that was gonna be used every day, like on a backpack going to school, I would have used UV resin to seal the design. But since these are large pieces of vinyl and it's for one night, I'm not going to worry about that step. So let's take a look at how all of our projects turned out. We have our standard Halloween bucket. We have our trick or treat with the name on the back. For the acrylic, I'm just going to use this hardware because it's quick and easy. If this is something you want to be able to do something else with, you could put a jump ring on it and use something like a lobster claw. So I'm just gonna loop it on and connect it to one of the fasteners. You could connect it to a handle, whatever your bag has. And then for my favorite one, we have trick or treat please on one side and thank you on the other side. As a mom, my kids having these ones last year was an incredible relief because I could find them a lot easier in the dark while they trick-or-treated. So whether you want a year-round dedicated bag, something that's going to last for years and really stand out, something quick and easy that you could do either for just your kid or for an entire class even, since these are inexpensive and straightforward. Something more intricate or something that you want to use just for Halloween one time and not keep it that way forever, you've got choices. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Thanks so much for watching Hank's Maker Mentor. Until next time, happy Halloween and bye.